he had some questions around how some of these objects in Salesforce are related to one another and uh, asking how opportunities are related to accounts, for example, and then asked what is the process of an opportunity turning into an account and it was the process of a lead turning into a contact. And so I want to show you, and I go into this in module two, but I want to show you briefly to answer these questions as well, the lead conversion process, and this as a way to kind of queue up module two as well. And let me share my screen again. So I've got a lead record here named Mr. Jeff Doe, and he works for QRD Corporation, okay? And this is just a lead record, and the lead conversion process in a nutshell is that when you're when you're working with a lead and you're qualifying them and trying to decide if you want to do business with this individual or this company you ask some qualifying questions and then you determine okay there's potential opportunity to do business with this person in this company so i need to convert this lead and so whenever you click convert and i'm in lightning experience here it pulls up this convert lead uh, window and so, and for some reason, it looks a little weird. <laughs> so the main point here in the lead conversion process, not to belabor the point, and I'll just kind of queue up module two, is that during the lead conversion process, what happens is you can create a, a new account, a new contact, and a new opportunity all from a lead record. So at this point, at the early stages of a lead coming in, it is there that you can convert that lead into an account, a contact, and an opportunity. So an opportunity doesn't become an account, it's just another piece of this three-piece puzzle that with each opportunity to do business, there is an account associated with it. And there's also usually at least one contact that works for that company. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, just for sake of time, I'm not gonna go into that real in depth and just say that in module two, I take you through the lead conversion process under the context of a, a job opportunity and recruiter management application that I have you start to build. We're going to build that out more and make that more complex in the third module in the APPAC 2.0. But towards the end of module two, we start going down the path of creating this application and we deal with job opportunities as leads. And so look for that lead conversion process to play out as you're trying to close a deal, meaning your job, basically. So that's a, a different approach, one that I felt like you could maybe relate to in order to bring the lead conversion process to life. And then as well, I had mentioned or pointed out in the first week's module, my new user training course, and I go pretty in depth in the lead conversion process there as well. And that's where I talk about the full life cycle of the relationship between uh, a company and another company and just going from attracting to uh, attaining to retaining customers as you go from marketing to sales to service and just that big picture for Salesforce as well.